All right, here we are at the last video. Uh, what we're going to do is vacuum this up, flip the board, and get all the settings correct to cut the bottom of this little PCB. All right, so I've got my shop back ready, and I'm going to just clean this up. Okay, so now that it's cleaned up, and we checked isolation from the uh, last video here, I can pop this out, and I got my handy dandy spatula. And I'm gonna reach in here from the side and carefully, carefully get this out. So I don't wanna damage the board. So you gotta kind of get in here and uh, just kind of twist and it should just pop out nicely. Okay, so I got it out. And uh, then notice I'm not having to make a tool change. That's nice. I'm saving myself some steps here because I'm gonna just cut the traces now on the bottom, right? So be careful when you pop this off, you don't damage the tool tip, but here we are with it out and the tape is still on the bottom. So we're gonna throw that away. So peel that off, okay. And uh, we're gonna put three new pieces of double-sided nitto tape. And uh, remember, it's gonna cut on the other side, the bottom now, okay. And we're gonna have to do a flip. So we're gonna flip it here and we're now we're gonna push it against the lower right corner, which means we have to put tape right across this part that we just cut, okay? Let me bring this over. I already have some pieces cut for you. So uh, let me just get this close. Right here. Good. Let's get it up here. Good. And let's put this last one here. Good. Okay, so now that I have these uh, on here, I gotta again take this nitto tape non sticky side <coughs> off. Okay, and then this one. And this last one. Okay, so we got this last one off one, two, three, and we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna push it into the lower right. So kind of a diagonal. Uh, effort here and building it. Yes, good. And I'm going to make sure it's really down. Now, what's going to happen is going to we're going to first cut the traces on the bottom, and then we're going to do a tool change, and we're going to change it to the 132nd, and that's going to cut the outline. And after it cuts the outline, well, that means this board, this exterior board, is free. And so let's just tape it down, just so that we have it taped down with some blue tape. And uh, we're just gonna put a little blue tape here just so it doesn't fly off. And notice I'm, I'm trying to put it in, a, in an area where it's not probably gonna get cut, but there's a little bit of overlap. And so you can see what I'm talking about with that, okay? All right, now again, there's nothing here because that's where it's got a zero um, later when we do that. But right now this should actually be nice because our traces, uh, are, we're, already, we're already gonna cut the traces. So I'm gonna come here to the, software and I'm going to go to bottom side and we're still on traces still on metal engraving bit okay let's double check yep traces I'm not doing holes or outline yet it's giving me the preview I want good and uh, you can always go over here and click this good and I have to replace the windows okay windows are in tools still in there and uh, let's do a little cut real quick this should be pretty quick. Okay, mill all visible. Okay, the tool should still be zeroed from before and uh, hand on the ready. Yep, we're good. And I'm double checking, making sure everything is cutting nice and clean and I can see the traces forming good, uh, very well. And uh, I think we're gonna have a good cut here. Excellent. Okay, so that's the first little board. Try right, to get it in here. And then you can see it's gonna go and automatically cut the second board. Now you could cut each one individually if you wanted to, but uh, I selected to mill all visible. Okay, so once it's done, we're gonna have to do a tool change and uh, it's pretty easy. 
change of course, we're gonna come in here, clean it up, and do a isolation test with the multimeter just to make sure that uh, it cut everything cleanly. So this is good. Come in here, remove these boards, take my uh, shop back. <laughs> Okay, and so what I can do is I can come in and I can go to the loading. So let's do that. Let's go to loading, move it up closer for us. I'm going to get my two probes, double check on these. Yep. And touch. Yep. Isolated. Yay. These are all, oh, yep. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. Nice and isolated. Always do that check. Never forget. Okay, so we're uh, almost there, home stretch. We gotta now just cut the, these boards out of the, um, the blank stock here. So we gotta do it to another tool change. So I'm gonna come in here and uh, we're gonna change this to the 132nd. And I'm gonna go 132nd, which is here. And I got my 132nd end mill ready to go, but let's get our nice cute little wrenches. Okay, so right here. Okay. Pop it open. And good. It's opened up. Out. Yes. And we're going to go in here 132nd. Make sure everything's good. And this one has a little bit fan. You can actually mill this out, which is really cool. I did this. Uh, Phantom Tools gives you the file for this. Okay. Come in here. Finger tight. Excellent. Okay. And wrench tight. Okay, so now it's nice and tight. All right, so we got that in there, 132nd, we're clean. Okay, it's gonna touch down here and then I'm gonna tell it to go and cut. So I'm gonna put these back, put this back. Okay, and uh, we're gonna continue, 132nd, great. Okay, continue. And locate tool. Right. Perfect. Okay, so we have location and we're on the bottom. Now notice we don't want traces anymore. We want holes and outline. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We don't want traces, we want holes and outline. Okay, and you can see this is uh, what we're gonna be cutting. Now notice we also have to change the tool to be 132nd and 132nd. Uh, let's see, click here, 132nd. Now what's really nice about the other mill and or slash Bantam tools is that it knows the bottom. So if, even though it's drilling a hole, it's not gonna cut into the bed or if it does, it cuts just a little bit. And sometimes you have to resurface the bed, but it's not every time. Okay, so let's double check. Everything's clear. Yes, yes, good. And mill all visible, yes. Okay, so you can see here, it's going in here and cutting all the holes, right? So it, it just, instead of drilling the hole, it end mills them out and routes around the uh, diameter. And so what's so great about this 132nd is kind of like any hole you want, doesn't matter the diameter, it can do it. It'll just cut a bigger or smaller hole. You don't have to change out to a different drill size, right? That saves a lot of time and uh, you only have to buy really two tools. You need an engraver bit and a 132nd. You, know, you kind of don't need all the other crazy fancy ones, right? Now, if you're doing really small traces, maybe you need the 164th, but, um, but yeah, this is pretty nice here. And so notice it's going around, cutting all the holes, right? This is where you put all your resistors and transistors and components for through hole soldering. Right, and you can hear it doing that multiple rup, rup, rup. Okay, perfect, that looks good. It's gonna go and do the holes. After it's done with the holes on this one, then it's gonna start going around and milling out the edges, right? It's kind of mesmerizing, I love watching this. It's really cool. 
while this is doing, you know, it's good to just, well, I can clean up now. So you can get all your scrap garbage, clean that up, right? It's just nice. It does the work while you can do other things. bit fan there that it's blowing all the chips away all the dust away so I can uh, do a good job with the cutting okay now here comes the cool part where it actually cuts around and then finishes off the profile and right? this is what's going to give you your board and it's going to just do multiple passes it's not going to plunge and try to do the whole thing at once um, so it knows it automatically generates these tool paths you don't have to be sitting there and master cam or uh, Fusion 360 generating the pass, it actually knows what to do for you, right? Because the PCB boards are pretty standard, right? You have some traces, you have some holes, and then an outline, right? So makes makes this process very quick, very quick. And then, you know, within 20 minutes, half an hour, you can have your PCB board like right there ready to go as opposed to getting it sent out to a shop. Now there's benefits to getting it sent out to a shop because at a shop, you know, then mass produced and uh, professionally made. And uh, if you can wait, then it's great. But uh, if you want it today, right now, this is uh, invaluable. Okay, we're almost done home stretch here. This is gonna be pretty cool. So once it's done, uh, I'll use the spatula, pull it out, and we'll get to see the finished product. And hopefully, if we did all the zeroing and leveling and all that right, the holes on the bottom cut through and align with the traces from the top cut. So we're about to see this uh, right now. Okay. So we're going to put it in the loading position. So we're going to come up here, uh, scroll up, hit loading. Okay. Pop the windows open. Okay. I'm going to hit it with the vacuum real quick. And uh, we've already done the isolation test. This is just moment of truth. So we can pull off the tape here, pull off the tape. And then come in here carefully, just come in, look, pop right off, nice, right? And then same with this one, right? Boom, you have your beautiful surfboard. And notice we have all the tape uh, still holding it kind of together, but we can just peel that off. And you have a beautiful circuit board. And look at that. You can see, hopefully you can see that, that the holes from the top and bottom align with each other. And you got two replicates like this is really nice, right? Okay. Now notice this one didn't, you might go, oh, but it didn't cut all the way through, right? Well, you just take a resistor, you're going to just punch that through, no problem. Okay, you'll be isolated. It looks uh, not perfect, but that'll be just fine, right? And that kind of happens for these smaller ones. Notice the big holes, no problem, just cuts all the way through, okay? There's just a very thin layer of copper right there that once you punch the resistor, it'll just pop. Okay, well that concludes this uh, video series on how to go from Eagle CAD to the Gerber file, to setting up the uh, Bantam Tools PC router, putting the material in, getting it, cutting it, and getting something that you want. And then you can go and solder this up. I hope you learned something and that this video is useful. So like and subscribe, yes, okay. All right, goodbye.